Hey guys, what is going on? It's Jake, aka Parky1 here, and welcome back to the channel. Okay, we're on episode 18 of our Hamburg career mode, and you'll be able to see there we are on Saturday, the 1st of February 2020, and the first game of this episode is against Borussia Dortmund. And obviously, no, you're not having deja vu. We did play these last episode, but we are playing them again, this one, and we're hoping for a much more exciting game than the nil-nil that transcribed last time out. But anyway, Jan Fitter Arp is back in the team, so hopefully he can show his class and get us some goals this game. But anyway, as I said, it's a very close contest, and it is 10th versus 11th after 18 games. So hopefully we can come out on top on this one, because it is a very big game for the season. And yeah, let's just get on with it. Okay, the first chance of the game here the ball is with Arp after 16 minutes gives it up to Kessie finds Pereira gives it back to Arp finds Jairo in the run through and yes he slots it in with his right foot right into the bottom right hand corner what a chance and what a start for ASV there Jairo coming out the works there as Arp plays him through that little bit of class that little bit of positioning that he offers is so pivotal as he finds the pass the killer pass there and we go ahead so anyway Werner passes off to Henderson gives it off to Trigueros but it's straight at Ben Horn easy catch for the young goalkeeper there Henderson whips in the ball towards Christiansen and I, I don't know what that clearance was he was like a bent back header but anyway it's not cleared just enough and Christiansen probably provides the best strike of a centre back that I've ever seen in this game I mean what a strike that was I mean look at this it's just absolute shambles at the back Horn tries to collect it, their striker runs into him, and then an absolute brilliant strike into the top right-hand corner from Christiansen to level up just before the half. But anyway, we're going at them, and we actually steal back the lead just before the half-time whistle there, and guess who scores it? It's the guy who's just come back from injury, it's Jan Fitter. Oh, I mean, yes, he's finally back, and he's back with a headed goal. He forces the centre-back off of him and heads it right into the bottom corner, showing his absolute class there, getting us the lead just before the half-time break there, cancelling out Christensen's 40th minute goal. But anyway, Henderson with the first chance of the second half, he gives it off to Sancho. He's actually Werner, who actually had the ball there. For, sorry, it says Henderson on the bottom there for a second, so I got a bit confused. But Henderson gives it off to Pulisic after that chance led to nothing. Pulisic strikes, and what a strike it is. Just before the 70th minute there, the young American uh, slams the ball into the top corner. You'll see here, just that little bit of space there, and the defender really should have done better there. I think it's Papadopoulos that he lets it go through his legs. But anyway, we're going straight from kickoff here. Can we get something straight from kickoff? And you know, if I put it in this video, there's probably a chance involved. So, Arp. There's a nice bit of dribbling there. Finds Holtby on the run through and he slots it right into the near post. And yes, <laughs> they were celebrating and they were still celebrating. So he caught them off guard straight from kickoff. Earned back the lead. And I mean, what a tidy little finish there from the experienced attacking midfielder there. And that is how the game actually finished. So Pulisic was too busy celebrating to defend. And Holtby capitalises on that and gets us all three points against Bruce Dortmund there. So absolutely brilliant. But against a team that kind of thrashed us earlier on in the season. And it's Bayer 04 Leverkusen. The top goal scorers in the league. I mean, we're not even on that top five list. Because, of course, Bayern are. And Red Bull Leipzig and Schalke and Leverkusen are. But we're nowhere near. So, I mean, let's hope we can try and change that. And try and keep up our decent defensive record so far this season. Okay, Gomez gives it off to Arp and he muscles off his defender and showing yet again that little bit of class but he didn't have enough class to hit it on target so that's pretty unfortunate but he plays through Kessie here and Kessie strikes it near post but unfortunately he's offside just you'll see there <laughs> that is so close but anyway of course he's offside so we can't even argue with that but Kessie's on the ball yet again gives it back to Gomez gives it to Walter on the edge of the box and a thunderbolt from the edge is pushed aside by the goalkeeper there, which keeps it at nil-nil at the half. I mean, we've been on top, but we haven't capitalised on it and we haven't got our goal that we need. But anyway, Yara Mendy is running down the right wing here, sloppy defending there, as their play is just allowed to head the ball, but it's an easy save from Horn there. But Kessie's played through here, surely. No, oh, yes. That went from 0 to 100 there, like no to yes, straight away. As Kessie's 
strike is saved easily by the keeper, but that tidy, cheeky little finish at the post there from Jan Fitter, oh, what a brilliant player he is turning out to be, but he's on the ball yet again, can he prove to cause more damage there, as he passed off to Gomez, and somehow we hit the post there, I think there was a def defensive block and a keeper touch there, which pushed it onto the post, so I, I don't, I don't think there could be any more intervention there to stop it going in. But anyway, great defending there. Kessie's shot is missed there as I just missed the commentary. But anyway, Pereira gives it back to Kessie. Kessie's dribbling inside the box and he does get his first goal for the club. And he is running off celebrating like a madman. Look at him after his left footed curler that goes over Arp. Arp always playing the assister there. He's, uh, he's just ducked out of the way to allow Kessie to get that goal. And what a teammate he's turning out to be. What a, what a player Kessie's turning out to be. What a player Arp's turning out to be. And what a team this is turning out to be. Like, we just... I don't know what... Where can we go in this table? I have no clue. Hopefully, hopefully we can get a Champions League spot. That's all I'm saying. I, I wasn't expecting it at this point, but obviously we're still in eighth. We're quite far off, but we're only three points off the Europa League spot. So let's try and jump up the table and see how, where we can get to. But anyway, we're kicking off this game against Freiburg here, and let's see how we do. Four minutes in, Art passes off to Pereira on the right hand wing, spots the overlap by Sakai. Sakai dinks the ball in towards Gomez, and Gomez's header hits the post there, and that is the only chance of the first half against Freiburg there. It's really unlucky, but sometimes you need the luck on your side, and we don't. We didn't quite have that in the first half. But anyway, Kessie passes the ball off to a free Pereira on the wing, cuts back inside, and he's left footy chance there is saved by the goalkeeper pretty decent save from their keeper there but Kessie he's played through here and can he make it two and two of course he can the man in demand makes a run straight through the defensive back line and slams the ball into the top corner you'll see here brilliant patience from the players there and finds the pass perfect pass to Kessie sets himself up and strikes it straight into the top corner there but Gilen is on the ball here, just on the edge of the box. Gives it off to Pereira. Finds Manir inside the box. And Manir, he can't quite get his second in the season, but it's a decent effort on the turn nonetheless. But anyway, in the 90th minute, in added time, can we get another? No, Manir hits the post. <laughs> Manir, I don't know what it is. I think I genuinely think he's cursed. I really think he's cursed because he hits the post more times than any other person in the entire world. So... At least Kessie got the goal and we got the win anyway. So let's move on to our next game in this episode, which is against Wolfsburg at the Wolves Stadion. Get match day 22 of the season. Players to watch, Pieter Zielinski and Jan Fitter Arp. Our guy's got eight more goals, but their guy is... It's tough to pronounce his name, so... He, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't trust that at all. But I'm going to be marking him, man-marking him all game. Anyway, the first chance of the game here. Gomez gives it off to Kessie. A nice little lob there. Can Pereira pull off a cheeky finish? No, he can't. The keeper pushes it wide off the target for a corner. And Stefaniak gives the ball to Lamella, who forces Walter off the ball here. Gives it to Gomez in the middle. And Zielinski, the man who we were told to watch out for, was left on the edge of the box. And he provides a top-class, world-class finish. That number 18 absolutely smashes it into the top corner there. The keeper, he couldn't really do much there, but... I mean, the defence definitely could have done a bit better. But anyway, we're back on the attack here as Gomez gives it up to Kessie. Kessie with a brilliant through ball there to Pereira, but his strike goes straight past the near post there. Very unlucky. But we're going to have another chance just before the half here as Walter runs through. No one's picked him up at all, but he shoots it straight at the keeper and he pushes it out for a corner. And we don't actually get anything from that corner, so Zelensky's 35th minute goal is the difference at the half there. Let's move on to the second half. And they actually have the first chance of the second half here is Van Drongelen. I don't know what he's doing there. And I don't even know what their play is doing because that was the worst volley I think I've ever seen. But anyway, they're on the attack yet again. Lamella on that right wing. Patrick Bauer. No, not Patrick. Robert Bauer is catching up to him. He crosses the ball in, but a terrible slice finish there from their attacker. But Kessie on the edge of the box here. Spots a little bit of space. Runs into it and forces a brilliant save out of Castiles. And somehow we're not back in this game. But anyway, Kessie passes off to Walter. Nice little bit of passing play there. And Manier, of course he's not going to score. But I'm going to keep trying with him i really am i'm gonna believe that he will score eventually but anyway that is how it finished uh we've lost that one but anyway let's finish off with a nice little look at the youth squad here as damian pasquier 
I mean, let's sign him up. But anyway, that is the only person who we signed into the youth squad straight after that game. We Our next one is against Augsburg, and that is the last game in February. But anyway, if you like this one, make sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you want. And you know what, guys? See you later.